Does it strike you as intriguing that the smallest independent state in the world, the Vatican City, relies on foreign soldiers for its protection? This isn't a modern phenomenon, but a tradition steeped in history and intrigue. Today, we delve into the story of the Swiss Guard, the world's smallest but perhaps most distinctive army. In the early 16th century, Pope Julius II, a man known for his military mindset, sought to bolster the Vatican's security. He turned his gaze towards Switzerland, a region renowned for its formidable mercenaries. Swiss soldiers had a reputation for loyalty, discipline and martial prowess, qualities that made them highly sought after across Europe. In 1506, a contingent of 150 Swiss soldiers marched into Rome, marking the inception of the Swiss Guard. Over the next few centuries, the Swiss Guard's role evolved. Their primary duty remained the protection of the Pope, but they also took on ceremonial and policing roles within the Vatican. The Swiss Guard stood resolute through turbulent times, including the sack of Rome in 1527, when 147 guards lost their lives defending Pope Clement VII. The late 19th century brought significant changes. Following the capture of Rome in 1870, the Vatican lost most of its territories, becoming the tiny enclave we know today. The Swiss Guard's role narrowed, focusing almost exclusively on the Pope's personal protection. In the present day, the Swiss Guard continues to serve as the Vatican's military force, a testament to a bond forged over five centuries ago. Their vibrant Renaissance-era uniforms and traditional halberds make them an iconic symbol of the Vatican, a blend of history and ceremony that captivates visitors from around the world. To summarize, the Swiss Guard's inception was a product of Pope Julius II's strategic thinking in the early 16th century. Their reputation for loyalty and martial skill made Swiss soldiers an ideal choice for the Vatican's protection. Over the centuries, their role has evolved, adapting to the Vatican's changing circumstances, but their primary duty, the protection of the Pope, remains unchanged. Today, they stand as a vibrant symbol of the Vatican, a testament to a relationship that has withstood the test of time. The story of the Swiss Guard invites us to reflect on the intriguing intersections of history, geopolitics and tradition. It reminds us that even in the smallest corners of the world, profound stories of loyalty, courage and resilience unfold. Such is the enduring legacy of the Swiss Guard, the foreign soldiers of the Vatican.